How can we understand digital inequality in an era of digital inclusion? As my open access journal paper, Digital Inequality Beyond the Digital Divide, Conceptualising Adverse Digital Incorporation in the Global South, explains, the digital divide has been an essential and powerful concept that links digital systems with inequality. But it is no longer sufficient. A majority of the Global South's population now has internet access and is included in, not excluded from, digital systems. And yet, as this figure illustrates, that inclusion also brings inequalities. The small farmers in digital value chains losing out to large intermediaries, the gig workers whose value and data are captured by their platforms, the communities disempowered when they are digitally mapped. So we need a new conceptualization to explain this emerging pattern. I refer to this as adverse digital incorporation, defined as inclusion in a digital system that enables a more advantaged group to extract disproportionate value from the work or resources of another less advantaged group. I've inductively built a model of adverse digital incorporation based around three aspects. Processes of unequal incorporation, such as the exploitation seen when gig workers invest long hours in platform work, but take home less than minimum wages due to value capture by the platform and other large businesses. Drivers of unequal incorporation, such as the direct compulsion of citizens forced to join digital ID systems that further tip the balance of power away from individuals and towards the state. Causes of unequal incorporation, such as the design inequality that means already powerful entities like governments and corporations control the digital innovation process. Future digital development research can apply this model deductively to cases of digital inequality and can further investigate the digitality of adverse digital incorporation. For digital development practitioners, the challenge will be to achieve advantageous digital incorporation, designing digital interventions that specifically and effectively reduce existing inequalities. What that means is going beyond digital equity to digital justice, addressing the underlying, the contextual causes of inequality, not just its surface manifestations. This research represents a novel insight into the relation between inequality and digital systems. And for further details, please refer to the paper. It has been one example of the research from the Centre for Digital Development at the University of Manchester. If you'd like to know more, check out our website and our working paper series.